There are many electrical accessories we like to add to our motorcycles, but we have to be careful not to exceed the capacity of the alternator. In this video, I'll show you how to compute the power requirements of various accessories. There are many electrical accessories we like to add to our motorcycles, but we have to be careful not to exceed the capacity of the alternator. In this video, I'll show you how to compute the power requirements of various accessories. Some accessories, like a GPS and a cell phone charger, don't use very much power. But accessories such as auxiliary lighting and heated clothing use much more power. It's important to add up all of the power requirements for each of your accessories to see whether or not you're in the safe zone below the capacity of your alternator. You'll need to find the capacity of your alternator either in the book that comes with your bike or by searching for that information online. On my Harley Road Glide Special, there's a parts and accessories circuit that has a 20 amp fuse. So if you take 20 amps times 12 and a half volts, you come up with 250 watts. Now of course you wouldn't run the uh, circuit right up to the max, you'd heat the fuse and eventually it would blow. So probably a safe limit would be 200 watts. Now how do you know how much power each of your devices uses. One method is to measure the current of the device as it's running. Another method is to look on the label of the device and see how many amps or watts it consumes. Then do the math, add up all the requirements, and see whether or not it exceeds the safe capacity of your bike. Let's look at the first method of calculating the power requirements of a device, which is to measure its actual current. Let's begin by drawing the circuit. We need a power source, such as a battery or a battery charger. And then we have the load or device that we want to measure and we have an ammeter. So we connect the minus or common lead of our load to the minus side of the battery. We run the plus side of the battery into the plus side of the ammeter and we connect the minus side of the ammeter to the plus side of the load. So the current flows through out of the battery and through the ammeter and back to the battery. The ammeter will measure that current. Here's the setup I have to measure the current through this auxiliary lamp. I have a 12 volt battery charger a multimeter set on the 10 amp uh, setting and the plus side is plugged into the DC amp input. I will connect the minus side of the battery charger to the minus side of the light. I connect the plus side of the charger to the plus side of the meter. The minus side of the meter I connect to the plus lead of the light. And when I turn on the power and read the meter, it's about 1.6 amps. 1.6 times 12 and a half volts is 20 watts. So this light requires 20 watts of power. There are two of them, so they require a total of 40 watts of power. Next I want to measure the current draw of my Gerbing heated jacket. 
The website says that the jacket requires 6.9 amps and I found that it won't work if it's attached to a battery charger so I'm going to go to the bike and connect it to the battery and measure the current draw off the battery of the bike. In order to measure the current draw of the Gerbing jacket I had to jury rig a connection into the bike's battery. Gerbing recommends that their jackets be connected directly to a, the battery. So that's what I've done here. I've hooked it up just as I did upstairs but the power source is the motorcycle's battery. Now we'll turn on the controller and you see that it goes up and down. That's because this controller turns the jacket on and off to control the heat. It doesn't modify the current, it just turns it on and off in succession. The more you turn it up, the longer it stays on to where you get it up all the way and it turns on all the time. And that's measuring 5.2 amps at approximately 12 volts. Let's look at the power requirement for the cell phone charger I installed. It has two circuits. It has a, cap a total capacity of 4.2 amps at 5 volts. Now 4.2 amps times 5 volts equals 21 watts. You have to add a little bit of power for the electronics that does the conversion from 12 volts to 5 volts. Let's add 4 watts for a total of 25 watts. The owner's manual of my Garmin Zumo 665 says the power requirement is 10 watts maximum. So let's add up the power requirements of all these accessories. The GPS, 10 watts. The cell phone charger, 25 watts. The auxiliary lights, 40 watts. And the heated jacket, 65 watts for a total of 140 watts. That's well within the capabilities of the power system on my Harley. You'll need to find the power capability that's available for accessories on your bike. Add up the accessory re power requirements and see if they're within that capability. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please click the like button and leave a comment. Thank you.